Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Stock My Closet. Today I'll share very easy method to make balloon top with pleated neckline. So let's get started. This is the measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. I've taken 2 meter georget fabric. It's better to go for lightweight flowy fabric for balloon top. Firstly, I'll cut the bodies on this plain fabric as markings won't be much clear on the georget fabric. I've cut out the required length and I've folded the fabric twice in width. Now I'll mark the measurements. For shoulder, take half of shoulder width. In my measurement, shoulder width is 13.5 inch, so half of it is 6.75 inch. Neck width is 3 inch. Mark half inch downward for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From this point, mark half of armhole round that is 7 inch in my measurement. I'll just extend this point. Now from the top, mark a point at 10.5 inch shoulder to burst point and 14.5 inch shoulder to waist. Extend these points. Now I'll mark the round measurements. For chest, I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement, chest round is 31 inch. 31 plus 2 is 33 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 8.25 inch. For burst I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement burst round is 32 inch. 32 plus 3 is 35 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 8.75 inch. For waist I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement waist round is 28 inch. 28 plus 3 is 31. And dividing it by 4, I'll get 7.75 inch. Now I'll join these points. Give slight curve to this pointed shape. I'll add seam allowance on the main fabric. From this point, mark 1 inch inwards and join it to the shoulder slope point. Now I'll draw armhole curves. And with this marking is complete, now I'll cut it. Now I'll cut the top on the main fabric. I've cut out the required length that is 24 inch in my measurement including 1 inch of seam allowance from the fabric. And I've folded the fabric by half in width. From the unfold side, mark 6 inch for pleats. This is unfold, so in total I have taken 12 inch for pleats. Join these points. Now taking this line as center, 
place the front body pattern I'll add hip measurement from the top marker point at 21 inch For hip I'm adding 3 inch of ease In my measurement hip round is 38 inch 38 plus 3 is 41 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 10.25 inch Join it with the waist point and extend it till bottom adding seam allowance and now I'll cut it So this is the front for the top. To cut the back I have folded the fabric according to the required width. By folding fabric in this way you can save the fabric on the side for sleeves or for some other project. Now place the back pattern. Mark the length 25 inch including seam allowance. And Again, I'll mark the hip point. So from the top, I'll mark a point at 21 inch. And I'll mark the same measurement as I have marked on the front. That is 10.25 inch. Join it to the waist and bottom. Adding seam allowance and now I'll cut it. So with this cutting off my top is completed. I'll share it stitching in my next video. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you like this video. If you do please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Till then take care. Bye bye.